All right, guys, I am back for another video. For those of you who are new here, welcome to Flippin' Fantastic Furniture and Things. My name is Ashley, I'm the creator of this channel. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell. Um, and let's take a tour of my very messy and very cluttered <laughs> uh, room. My project room is what I'm gonna call it. So let's take a tour. All right, so this is the entrance off of my lovely, messy kitchen <laughs> at the moment, um, right into my project room. Now, like I said, it is a bit of a mess in here. I'm trying to get organized, but it's just taking some time. Um, so basically over here is where I store all of my supplies. Um, a lot of what I use is inexpensive, but it's really decent product. This is the primer that I use right here in the front. This is what I bought at Walmart. Um, I can leave the links down below for you guys if you want. I use a lot of craft paint. I have a whole bunch of other ones elsewhere. Um, and then I also have a tan paint behind this guy. It's a very nice tan paint. It's a very neutral. And let me see if I can get to it. It is called... Da -da -da. Uh, let me see. Sahara Desert Sand, if you guys can't see that. Um, I got both of these at Walmart. Um, I think I paid... 12 something for the primer and I think it was almost the same price for that I'll get you guys the prices on that um, and then also for brushes they're like I said I'm sorry they're scattered all over the place I bought variety pack brushes from Walmart as well um, these things the sponge brushes guys come in so handy this package cost like I want to say like two dollars and 48 cents and then I got a six pack of these kind of brushes at Walmart they aren't the best, but they're not the worst. I've, I worked with so much worse. The hairs do fall out on these, so just please be careful with that if you're trying to go inexpensively. Um, and then I have some containers underneath here of paint that I've wrapped up. I've got a brush and a bag. Um, now, some other things that I have on hand are polyurethane. Um, you're never, you're, <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need it. Um, Sometimes, like my first project, which I will show you guys in a minute here, um, it is, uh, it's very good if you run out of the other ones. It's not my first choice. Like if you don't have a water-based one and you're using water-based paint, I would still tr say try to go out and get some. But if you can't and you have polyurethane, it is the next best option, even though it's not really the best option. And then I also have my Rust-Oleum crystal clear enamel. Um, I usually use that on my hardware just because it's easier to do a finished coat with the hardware. I've also got wood glue, I've got wood filler, I've got citrus strip, um, I've got some <laughs> other crazy tools. This little thing right here in the front, um, I can't grab it at the moment, but the one with all the ridges and everything, that is to create fake green. And one of these videos I'm going to go into more depth and show you guys that. Then down there, I've got sandpaper, my sander, um, I've got clamps, which you're going to need. Um, I've got backup hinges, screws, I've got a spray bottle with some um, cleaner in it and some clear tape. And I've also got a scraper down there if you do anything like sticky paper. Um, so that is my supply area for the most part. Oh, and I also have this guy right here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I wanted to try it, but there was a lot of, when I tried to wipe off with the brush, there's just a lot of streaking, and I even tried thinning it out, and it just wasn't working for me, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with it or whatnot. And that's my baby girl. Hi, Frey and Oki Days, and my baby puppies. Well, not baby puppies. He's, he's four in July, and she's going to be one in September, and their brother's floating around somewhere. So now that you guys can see, this beautiful piece right here, which I have to put a blanket over it, is the first piece that I had finished, um, and I'll put up the before and after pictures right in here so you can see it better. Um, and I'm really, really excited about this. Um, it hasn't sold yet, it's been online for over a week, but that's okay, these things take time. Um, the piece I'm working on right now is this beautiful green dresser right here and I love this color um, the paint that I used I'll actually show you in a minute when I get over there because it's in a different spot but I love this color paint it's called moss by Waverly um, and 
Um, I will also include anything that I have for supplies in the description box down below for anybody who is wanting to start on a budget because um, these things are great. And then, let me see, after this, oh, I have my wall right here. Um, it's very similar to Lauren's from um, Furniture Flipping Teacher. I actually got the idea from her when she said it. And um, this thing comes in handy. I've got my rug down there. Um, and just roll the rug out when you go to take pictures and whatnot. Um, don't mind the mess. That chair is actually from my grandmother. I was trying to restore it and bring it back to life because I had it in my house. And um, she's like, no, I'll take it off your hands. And I'm like, okay, good. That, that's one last thing. So I'm waiting for her to take that off of my hands in a little bit. That's a bookshelf over here. This guy right here. Um, I had him here and I was trying to start him, but he's got a lot of issues. Um, so basically he was warped. I'll show all the pictures and things like that in this little strip here. But he was very warped. Um, I had to get a different backing because I was backing on it at one point. And yeah, it was a mess. <laughs> so, um, now I know, like I said, I apologize for the mess. These are my next two projects. This guy I have a picture of. I'll put him up uh, right in right here. Um, this little one I don't, but it's very it's the same kind of dresser as what this guy started out as. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and very, very excited about this. I have a headboard. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. I got it all for free. All this furniture I didn't pay a dime for. It's all for free or was in my house. Now I have a Jacobian style set in here. This table, there, these chairs, um, they actually came with my house. Um, and there's a, there's a piece back there. I have better pictures of them, I'm sure. And then there's also those two pieces over there. Um, they're all a set. I don't know if I'm gonna sell them as a set, but I'm gonna do them all the same color and everything like that. I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. Um, but they're very, very nice, solid hardwood pieces. Um, and yeah, this is basically it. Um, we actually had water damage, not this past New Year's, but the one before, and we haven't replaced the ceiling. We haven't had money or time yet. And um, also, I wanted to show you guys what I did for the lighting because this is kind of cool. Um, I have these lamps cost like $6 at Lowe's, and they're clip-on lamps, so you can hang them up in the ceiling. I have the wires down the back there, and the plug is over in that window. It works fantastic for what I need it to be. <laughs> um, eventually I want to get better lighting, but for a cheap couple bucks, that's what it is. All right, guys, what, what's up? Huh? What's the matter? You want to say hi? Say hi! Say hello! <laughs> you guys are super cute. All right, so that's basically my, my setup here. Um, oh, and before I forget, this is the hardware going on the green one. I actually repainted it because the gold that was on it was terrible before. So um, I mixed this this gold and this brown. It's a burnt lumber. These are both from Walmart paints. And this was the color on the plate still actually. And it's like a burnt gold color and it comes out amazingly awesome guys, let me tell you. Um, so I'm waiting for those to dry, um, and then, let me think, um, I also, oh, before I forget, this, for those of you who don't know what it looks like, this is Waverly chalk paint. It's six fifty at our Walmart here in Massachusetts, um, but honestly, I got two whole coats out of this dresser and all the drawers in one bottle. Um, I did have to open this up to do some touch-ups, but other than that... Um, and then this right here, I'm not going to pick him up because the cover's not clearly on. Um, this is the one that I use for any water-based paint. Um, it works fantastic. It's the cheapest for the most amount that I could find. Um, I haven't gotten to get any of the fancier stuff yet, but um, like Dixie Bell or um, even Rust-Oleum chalk paint's a little expensive, but I put money aside for that. Um, but yep, th this is my little space. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. What did you guys think? Did you enjoy that? Hi, <laughs> you guys are so cute. Alright guys, so I will see you in the next video. And thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy your day. Bye.
Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye.